Life is full of burdens, we all carry weight on our shoulders, sometimes it feels too heavy to bear, but we are not alone. Jehovah, our Heavenly Father, sees our struggles, He knows our pain, He offers us comfort and strength. Imagine a child running to their father after a fall, the child is hurt and scared. The father scoops them up in his arms, He comforts them with gentle words and a loving embrace. This is how Jehovah cares for us, He is always there to catch us when we fall. He longs to hold us close and whisper words of encouragement. He wants us to find peace and solace in His love. When we turn to Him, we find relief from life's burdens. We discover that we are never truly alone. Jehovah doesn't promise to take away our problems, but He does promise to walk alongside us. He will be our strength when we are weak. He will be our light in times of darkness. All we need to do is reach out to Him in faith. Mothers carry a unique burden. They are the nurturers, the protectors, the givers of life. Their love knows no bounds. But even the strongest mothers need support. They need someone to lean on in times of hardship. Christ understands the struggles of motherhood. He witnessed the unwavering devotion of his own mother, Mary. He saw her pain, her sacrifice, and her unwavering faith. He offers that same compassion and understanding to all mothers. He knows the challenges of raising children in a world filled with darkness. He sees the tears shed over sleepless nights and worried days. He hears the silent prayers whispered for their children's well-being. Christ offers mothers a safe haven in the storm. He provides comfort in the midst of chaos. Through Him, they can find the strength to persevere, knowing they are not alone in their journey. We all experience pain in life, it's a part of the human condition. But pain is not always a bad thing. Sometimes it's a signal. It's God's way of getting our attention. It's His way of guiding us back to Him. Think of pain as a flashing red light on the dashboard of your car. It's a warning that something is wrong and needs attention. Ignoring it could lead to further damage. In the same way, ignoring the pain in our lives can lead us further away from God's plan. When we experience pain, we should ask ourselves, what is God trying to teach me? Is there a change I need to make in my life? Am I holding on to something I need to let go of? God doesn't want us to suffer. He uses pain to redirect us, to refine us, to mold us into the people He wants us to be. When we listen to His whispers of guidance, we find meaning in our pain. We discover that even in our darkest moments, God is working for our good. As we grow closer to God, we may face challenges. The devil does not want us to find peace and joy in the Lord. He will try to tempt us. He will try to discourage us. He will try to make us doubt God's love but we must stand firm in our faith. We must remember that God is bigger than any obstacle we face. He is our protector, our shield, our ever-present help in trouble. Think of a goldsmith refining gold in a fire. The fire is hot and intense. It burns away impurities, leaving behind pure, valuable gold. In the same way, God uses trials to refine our faith. He burns away our doubts and fears, making our faith stronger and more resilient. The challenges we face are not meant to break us. They are meant to shape us, to mold us into the image of Christ. When we face our trials with unwavering faith, we emerge stronger, more resilient, and closer to God. Section 5, A Father's Hand, Divine Protection, and the Promise of Peace. The world can be a dangerous place. We are constantly bombarded with negativity, violence, and fear. It's easy to feel overwhelmed and afraid, but we must remember that God is our refuge and strength. He is our ever-present help in trouble. He watches over us with a Father's love. He guides our steps and protects us from harm. He promises to be with us always, no matter what we face. Imagine a shepherd guiding his sheep through dangerous terrain. He knows where the dangers lie. He protects his sheep from predators and guides them to safety. That is how God cares for us. He is our shepherd, and we are his sheep. When we trust in his guidance, we find peace. We know that we are safe in his hands. We can face the future with courage and confidence knowing that He is always with us. Section 6. The Enemy's Snare. Recognizing and Resisting Temptation. The devil is cunning and deceitful. He will try to lure us away from God with empty promises and tempting distractions. He will whisper lies in our ears, trying to make us doubt God's love and our own worthiness. But we must be vigilant. We must be aware of His schemes and stand firm against His temptations. We must remember that the devil is a defeated foe. Christ has already overcome the world and through him, so can we. Think of a spider spinning a web. It carefully crafts its trap, hoping to ensnare unsuspecting prey. 
the devil does the same. He sets traps for us, hoping to lure us away from God, but we are not powerless. We have the armor of God, we have the power of prayer, we have the guidance of the Holy Spirit. When we rely on these tools we can resist temptation and break free from the enemy's snare. Section 7. Forgiveness. Unlocking the chains of pain and resentment. Holding on to anger and resentment is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. It only hurts us in the end. Forgiveness, on the other hand, is a gift we give ourselves. It sets us free from the bitterness and pain of the past. Christ taught us the importance of forgiveness. He forgave those who crucified him. He showed us that forgiveness is not about condoning wrongdoing. It's about releasing ourselves from the burden of anger and resentment. Forgiving others can be difficult, especially when they have hurt us deeply, but it is essential for our own spiritual growth. When we forgive, we open our hearts to healing and peace. We break free from the chains of the past and move forward in freedom. Remember, forgiveness is a process. It takes time. Be patient with yourself and allow God to work in your heart. He will give you the strength to forgive even when it feels impossible. The power of prayer, seeking solace in divine communion. Prayer is our lifeline to God. It's how we communicate with Him, share our burdens, and seek His guidance. When we pray, we acknowledge our need for Him. We invite Him into our lives and allow Him to work in our hearts. Prayer is not about reciting empty words. It's about pouring our hearts out to God with honesty and authenticity. It's about listening for His voice in the silence of our hearts. Imagine a child talking to their parents. They share their joys, their sorrows, their hopes, and their fears. They trust their parents to listen and offer comfort and guidance. That is how we should approach prayer. We should come to God with childlike faith, trusting that He hears our prayers and cares about every detail of our lives. He may not always answer in the way we expect, but we can be sure that He is always listening and working for our good. Standing firm, cultivating strength through spiritual discipline. Our faith is like a muscle. It needs to be exercised to grow stronger. We need to nourish our spirits with God's word, prayer, and fellowship with other believers. We need to make time for God every day, even when we are busy or discouraged. Spiritual disciplines are not about earning God's love or favor. We already have that through Christ's sacrifice. They are about cultivating a deeper, more intimate relationship with Him. They are about strengthening our faith so that we can stand firm against the storms of life. Think of a gardener tending to their plants. They water them, fertilize them, and protect them from pests. In the same way we need to tend to our spiritual gardens. We need to nourish our spirits with God's word, remove the weeds of sin and doubt, and cultivate the fruits of the spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The promise of paradise finding hope in eternal glory. This life is but a vapor, it is fleeting and temporary but eternity awaits those who put their faith in Jesus Christ. He has prepared a place for us in his Father's house, a place of unimaginable beauty and joy. This promise gives us hope in the midst of suffering. It reminds us that our present troubles are nothing compared to the glory that awaits us. Imagine the most beautiful sunset you have ever seen. Now imagine a place infinitely more magnificent where there is no pain, no sorrow, no death. That is a glimpse of the paradise that awaits us. When we focus on the eternal, our earthly problems seem smaller. We find strength to endure knowing that our suffering is temporary, but our joy in Christ will last forever. A message of encouragement. You are not alone in your struggle. You are not alone in your struggles. God sees you. He knows your pain. He cares about every detail of your life. He has not forgotten you, and he will never leave you nor forsake you. Hold on to that promise. Cling to it with all your might. When you are weak, he is strong. When you are afraid, he is your courage. When you are lost, he is the way. You are deeply loved, cherished, and valued. Your life has meaning and purpose. You are a masterpiece in progress and God is not finished with you yet. So take heart, be strong and courageous. Your redemption is drawing near.